So I get this question a lot. Should you sell your stocks before a recession? Or let me better phrase that. Should you sell your stocks before you think there is a recession? Because no one knows exactly when a recession is going to occur. And what is a recession, guys? The technical definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth domestic product growth in a particular economy. So should you sell your stock before you think there is a recession? And typically, there's a recession every five to 10 years. And for those of you guys that can do math, the last recession we had is 2008, 2009, and right now it's 2019. So we're getting to that point where historically we could potentially see a recession. So let's talk about that in today's video. So typically guys, during a recession, the entire stock market does very poorly. And this is because people start to panic. People start to sell out of their assets. They're selling their stocks, which is causing the stock price prices and individual companies to go down, which leads the indexes, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell, all of these indices, they end up going down in price, causing a quote unquote bear market. Now, is a bear market always constituted through a recession? No, we can have a bear market when there isn't a recession. Like this past month, guys, past couple of months, in October, through December, that was technically a bear market because the NASDAQ, I believe, went down about 20%, right? And we, and you know, we categorize a bear market when a index, the S&P, the NASDAQ, or the Dow Jones goes down 20% from its peak. And we saw that in the NASDAQ, you know, the S&P and the Dow, they were almost there about 18, 19%, but we didn't have a quote unquote recession. So the first thing I want to get out in this video, we don't necessarily need a recession for a bear market, but when we do get a recession, guys, you know, we do get a bear market. Most likely we will get a bear market, right? So what should you do in this case? Let's get into it. So let's say you bought five companies you know, two years ago, right? Let's say you bought Apple. Let's say you bought Facebook. Let's say you bought Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, and let's say, you know, Procter & Gamble, right? You have three value companies there that are income producing assets. They pay dividends. Well, actually four because Apple is one as well. And then you have a growth company like Facebook that has a lot of cash. They have a lot of assets and a lower amount of debt on their balance sheet, right? And let's say we hit a recession and those stocks, they lose 30%, 40% of their value. So instead of just panicking, selling out of those positions at massive losses, right? Taking those huge losses, losing a ton, a ton of money, you can add more money into those positions. Be scared. Don't be scared when the stock market goes down, guys. Buy when others are fearful. I know you guys have heard that quote. And in turn, you'll prosper over the long run. This is if you did pick a quality company that has assets and cash that will allow them to prosper through difficult times, right? If you have a company like, let's say, you know, a speculative company that's unprofitable, that's different, right? Because this company may not have the resources to get through a recession and they might go out of business, right? Let's say a company that, that doesn't have money, what are they going to do when, you know, everyone's selling, everyone's selling, there's not a lot of money out there in the economy, they're going to crumble, right? This is why it's super important to pick good assets that, in my opinion, are profitable. I only invest in companies that are profitable, that have a lot of cash that can get through a recession, right? And historically, guys, just take a look at this. The S&P 500 was 600 points back in their recession in 2008 and 2009. And what is it right now? It's 2,820 points at the time that I'm recording this video on Friday, March 15th. That is a four plus us, you know, 4x increase. The people that sold during that recession are 100% kicking themselves in the butt right now because if they were to double down on some income producing assets, some assets that they think 
will do great in the future. They would have made so much money right now. It's unbelievable. And this is the philosophy that I'm taking in the next recession. Sure, my portfolio right now doesn't really consist of many speculative companies, right? I'm more of a value investor. I like income producing assets, which allows me to feel more confident to buy more stocks at the dip, the next time that we do get a recession, sure, my portfolio is going to be down. I'm going to be holding through some pain, but I know in 5, 10 years, as long as I pick good assets, which in my opinion, my portfolio does consist of good assets, I'm going to come ahead in 5 to 10 years and hopefully 2, 3x my portfolio, my assets in the companies that I do invest in. And of course, I'm going to be getting income. I'm going to be getting dividends through the recession because the companies I do pick, they historically do well during the recession. They still pay out their dividends, although their share prices may not be doing so well. So, you know, the moral of the story is, guys, should you sell during a recession or when you think there's going to be a recession? No, because no one can time the market. And historically, the market has gone up after every single recession. So, I personally think, again, do your own research. If you want to try and time the market, go ahead. But I think you should double down, buy more solid assets that have good balance sheets, good cash flow, all of that at a discounted price. And Warren Buffett put this in, in, in a perfect perspective, perfect example in his CNBC interview a couple of weeks ago. I forget exactly what he said, but he used an analogy of a hamburger, right? Let's say a McDonald's hamburger is a dollar and the next two weeks it goes down to 20 cents. Wouldn't you be like, oh my God, that's an awesome, awesome deal. I want to buy more and more hamburgers, right? That's what you would think. But some, some for some reason, people don't view the same thing, you know, for stocks, right? A stock price, let's say, is $1. Next five weeks, it goes down to $0.20. Cents. Although that business is still the same strength, it has the same assets, you know, the same you know, balance sheet, cash, all these different things to get it through the recession at a cheaper price, people panic and they don't want to buy at a cheaper price. But it just doesn't make sense, right? If a stock price is going down, but the business itself is still fundamentally strong, that is a deal. You should be buying that stock. And that's the moral of the story today, guys. Don't be scared to double down on your strong income producing assets, your strong growth businesses that have a lot of cash during hard times. Because historically, you're going to come out ahead if you do pick strong businesses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know down below, what do you guys think about this? Are you going to be selling your stocks when you think there's going to be a recession? Are you going to try and time the market? Or are you just going to hold through the, the tough times? Maybe play some put options, maybe short some stocks, you know, hedge against your position so you can make some money on the downside and then buy at the bottom. What are you going to do, guys? I would love to know. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.